I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying... Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought, I understand my son is in danger. You will not allow me to go to him. Odin's left hand and he carries the cord. Begins Ragnarok. A chance to eliminate him. We and should... it's just as likely a trap because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. That's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. Well, see you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You heard him. Quit your Fred. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> 
No, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that, then? Oh, just Sendry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursioning you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. We may need to work together on this one. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. It's not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Abandoned service tunnel. Seems the only way forward is that gate near the oil spill. Kratos. It will pass. Ah! Uh. 
Kratos? Kratos! Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. No! He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the truth of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate, the one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, for ancient times, well. Seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. arrows should work with ice as well. sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. <laughs> ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? work, shall we? Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? 
You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok. That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Where have they got the third one hidden away? Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares! They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them! <laughs> Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? 
This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. Ah! All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Ah, teamwork. Oh, but there's two of them. And they're angry. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Falky! Long as you know that ain't the way to the forge. Go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. <laughs> what a prize he turned out to be, <laughs> huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <laughs> <laughs> Better take out that. <laughs> ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you 
snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Well, this sure is exciting to watch, but you know that's out of range, right? Okay, looks like that wheel up there opened the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane and cap that guy there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Crank cover. You do the other stuff. Look. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? Ah, promising. Turn it. Copy that. There you go. Right on the money. Turn it again. Aye, aye. <clears throat> Game over. Come on through and get those cables. I think they've seen us. Look no. out! Up above you! Oh. 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 <laughs> Finally! Now we can ride on up to the forge. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, 
Got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from it? Well, let's see. Something <laughs> abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stone, stone, stone. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, boy. That's brisk. He got grab some for the lead. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See, dwarven magic's all about the intangible. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on! I smell trouble. Hey, So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it, said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro? I've never seen you so. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. Despite the silvery stuff, you'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll pin you that thing. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. <laughs> Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. <laughs> Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's on to the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of it. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. Where is the 
forge. Alfie Vader almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might. Bless you, folks. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion tap scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form.
Now you know I can't let you take our without you. Look! Well, that's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns! What the hell? Ain't this just like old times? Couldn't have put this more forebodingly myself. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Circumstances on the right quick. You're a natural. Any more guesses, belt boy? Oh, all right. Get bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. No my balls are taking over the grill. We better be around. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, good. 
good eye. That'll get you right. It's all about the proper range. I'm telling you, you're too far to decide. Whoa, you sure you ain't done this before? See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever. One of these hogs killed her. Hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. <laughs> ah, that's blocked. favor to ask of the both of you and we can call a square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps Mamiya. oh very well these ugly bugs maybe those grim will take it down uh nope who you think you are, huh? You don't even know what's gonna happen. I always knew you were crazy.
Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working and working. And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Grok's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a, has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what? kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Oh, Let's see what Brock made you. Shield strike. A weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. 
Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Matter me! <laughs> Hmm. So this drop near Spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I'd heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. <laughs> 